Hi, everybody. Welcome to BBAD Radio. Oh, you're on. Marhapa Habibi. Steven. Steven? That means hello, my good friend. Oh. Steven. See, this is what I'm saying. We can... How can we get a call from Iraq and not Rainbow, Oregon? I don't, I don't get it. You, you don't have anyone from Rainbow on the phone, I'm guessing. Do you believe it, Steve? We didn't, we didn't know about this whole cell phone thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. You know, there's about a three seconds delay. Steven, you know you have fans when you we have like listeners still listening um, after hearing <laughs> Big Brother fans talk. You know you have fans still. <laughs> they were. <laughs> so who, who's on the phone with us today? Say hello to Stephen, everybody who's on the phone. Hey, Stephen. That's Colton. Yep. Hi, Heidi Ho. That's PJ. Oh, I'm... oh, hey man, how are you? I'm doing good, Stephen. Well, hey, Stephen, you and I how are, on the are phone, you? So technically, we have two rainbows. <laughs> that is true. Um, I am doing, I am doing really well. It is four thirty in the morning, and I just got out of bed. Um, I'm actually just sitting home in a room with a bunch of other people, so um, I have to talk kind of quietly. I don't want to disturb everyone, but um, yeah, so I'm feeling a little tired and groggy, <laughs> but uh, I'm okay. You know, we've been stuck in Baghdad for let's see. We're going on eight days now. I haven't been able to get out because of weather. So I haven't even been able to get my um to get any real work done. <laughs> We've been here. We've literally just been in Baghdad hanging out waiting for flights. And every day the flights get canceled. So it's been very, very frustrating. Every single morning for eight days now, I get up, I pack my suitcase, I pack my linen, um, we we drag our bags to the um, basically to the hangar. We sit there in a van for a couple hours until someone officially comes out and says, "Sorry, you're not getting your flight today." We drag our bags back to the tent, remake our beds, and then spend the rest of the day trying to be productive. But there's really nothing to do, so it's been extremely frustrating. Wow. So then, what do you do, Steven? Yeah, I sit around, um, the, there's there's a, a library we can go to that has wireless internet, um, so we go there, and I sit around and update Facebook all day. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you're, you're sitting, you're in a room right now with a bunch of sleeping people. No, 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 it's, it's, I'm in a morale trailer, which is basically a trailer that has, um, phones in it and computers where people come to um, use the telephones and use the Internet. Like, they have public computers that anyone can get on and use, but I generally don't use those because, um, you know, I, I give the military the first preference, you know, let them come in and use them. Um, I use my laptop and go, go try and see if the wireless is working, and that's what I use. Well, I can't tell you how awesome it is that you woke up at 4.30 in the morning <laughs> And called, called in. I think that's just hey, awesome. Hey, you guys, and I was, I was gonna make it happen no matter what I, what I had to do. I was, um, I was excited to call in. I thought, you know, how fun to get to actually. How many times can you say you had a caller from Iraq? Um, uh, never. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told you we didn't even get a call from Rainbow, Oregon. We got a call from Iraq, though. Um, I wish Brian had some of your tenacity, Stephen. <laughs> well, you were trying to get a hold of pe- the, the, some of the people there yourself, right? Correct. I spent. I was chatting. Apparently, last night they all got drunk and got on um, Janelle's user plane. Mm-hmm. Um, we heard. They were all yeah. chatting, and so I was in the library on the Wi-Fi and trying to get into her chat room and chat with them and make sure that somebody – would take the initiative to find a cell phone or a landline even that they could call from. Um, We love you, Stephen. (laughs) That's what we're thinking, too. (laughs) 
I was thinking, you know, Kale would provide some sort of landline they could use. Um, so I wanted to get in the chat room and make sure that Brian looked into that. <laughs> but obviously he didn't. Well, according to Thelma, who is, who is uh, Brian's number one fan, <laughs> uh, she said he was really drunk. <laughs> well, that's kind of... Shocking, weird. right? Stalking? Shocking, I said. <laughs> oh, yeah, shocking, yeah, shocking. Yeah, she, um, uh, I kind of figured they would all be, by 7 o'clock at night, they would all be completely wasted, so no telling you. You know where they are, what they're doing. Well, you were almost a part of all of that. Are you missing it or what? I was. Am, am I what? Are you missing out on that or what? You know, I have mixed feelings. I would have loved to have been there, um, but you know, I think I was chatting with someone. I forget which one it was, and I was saying, you know, it would have been great to be there and sort of see everyone in a different environment and enjoy everything they're doing, but I guarantee you right now this entire trip is nothing but a struggle for who is the most famous. <laughs> and I know <laughs> talking about themselves and what they've been doing and how famous they are now and how much better they are than the rest of the people there. Do you really think so? I, I really do. <laughs> I know it sounds negative, um, and I'm not trying to bash on anyone in particular, but you just, when you hang out with these people, you realize that, you know, just like this phone call tonight, you know, I I woke up at 4.30 in the morning and found a way to make a phone call from halfway around the world, and they can't even bother to pick up the phone and make a phone call to you um, from somewhere just to even say, hey, we have crappy phone service, we're not going to be able to call you. Exactly. That was I and uh, Steve. You took the words right out of my mouth. Being Eric and I was stressing about this because, like I said earlier, we talked to Brian weeks ago about this. We've had this cooked up for so long, and he was just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll do it. Yeah, this is awesome. Blah blah blah. And here we are. (laughs) So we did our best. Yeah, and and I kind of had a fear that this would happen. You know, I'm I'm sure that even if his cell phone worked great, you know, they would have probably all been trashed and probably made the phone call and maybe for a few minutes or something, you know. But but I don't know. I guess I'm a little frustrated too because I've been sending messages on Facebook and and back and forth to all of them every every day for two days now saying. You know, are you going to figure out a way to call? Who's going to call in? I hear you don't have cell service. Have Brian send me a message on Facebook. I'm calling in from Iraq. Somebody, you know, make an effort. I want to make sure you guys are on the phone. I'd love to to have us all on the phone together. And I haven't gotten one single message back from any of them. Well, have they even been checking their Facebooks or whatever? Well, yeah, Chelsea was putting comments on last night saying she's drunk. And Brian said, (laughs) Brian sent me a message, um, like, the day he got there, but he didn't say anything about the phone call. And I replied back to him and was like, hey, tell me what's going on with this phone call. How are you going to make it, blah, blah, blah. And he's never replied to that message either. Hmm. Well, we're glad you so called. How's that? This is Debbie, good enough for me. Debbie Downer about them all. It's kind of sad, but... Um, but anyway, I, you know what? I made it here, and we'll make the best of the short time that I have on the call. Well, how are you doing there? I mean, other than the um, the situation, I mean, I saw your blog, and I don't want to talk about it um, because you're not, like, you know, yeah. in a private area. But <clears throat> other than that, how's everything going for you? I mean, it's 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 a lot different than my last trip. My last trip. Um, the, the travel logistics were much easier, and we got to exactly where we need to go. And it was great, you know, like um, we went, we did our work, we worked hard. Um, but it was just here, it's just been dusty. Every, this trip, it's been dusty every day. And it's really hard on your morale when every single morning you wake up packing up, hoping you get out today so you can start doing your work. 
and you just sit there and turn right back around. 